Gordon and Shotgun on the field. First time out this season in the Big Sal's Pizzeria number 107 from Plattsburgh, it's Joe Garrow. Nine cars ready to run. Qualifier number one for the Renegades. Green flag is out as we kick off another Saturday night of racing action at the Big A. Bob Dragoon in the 36, running a middle line, now drifts up the track, but at his door on the outside is Lonnie Rivers. Lonnie Rivers, a little contact, had to get on the binders, and he's going to lose some spots. There's Keith O'Neill moving up with a zero car as they run side-by-side -side for the four spot. Freeman Sawyer went way up the track into turn number four, but he's going to hang on to lead with his number 51. He shows the way, but again, he pushes up the racetrack in turn number two. Here comes Josh Terry. Here comes Cody Benoit on the inside. How about three wide for the lead down the back stretch into turn number three? Benoit in the one, works the inside line. Sawyer in the 51, drifts again way up to the top of the racetrack. Cody Benoit will be the leader off turn four. Well, that 51 pushing badly way up to the top of the track. Benoit leads with a one. Then it's the H2O of Robert Gordon running in the second spot on the inside of Josh Terry's 43 as they run door to door for the second spot. Right behind them, Keith O'Neill occupying the fourth position with the zero car. Benoit leads and he's trying to pull away from Robert Gordon. The lead was four car lengths at the stripe. Gordon has his sights set on him. We'll see if he can do anything with him. He pull, he's pulling away from the 43 of Josh Terry. He's got his hands full as Keith O'Neill tries to make a pass on the inside. O'Neill, the zero car, trying to get the third spot away from Josh Terry with the number 43. Terry hanging on to, at the stripe by about a foot to that third spot. Lonnie Rivers in the seven car, running in the fifth position. Joe Warren runs off of his back bumper in sixth. Seventh is the 36 for Bob Dragoon. Then it's Joe Garrow in the number 107. And it's the 51 for Freeman Sawyer at the back of the pack. Cody Benoit's got the one out front, and his lead maintaining a three to four car length advantage over Robert Gordon with the H2O. The zero of Keith O'Neill running in the third position. The 43 of Josh Terry is fourth, but here comes Alani Rivers in the seven, trying to grab that spot. Two laps to go for Cody Benoit. Josh Terry still running fourth, working a middle line. Lonnie Rivers on the inside, puts his nose out there for the fourth spot. Terry comes back after him on the outside. Running side by side for the fourth position. Lonnie Rivers in the seven, Josh Terry in the 43. White flag for Cody Benoit, who is on his way to the victory in the first qualifier for the Renegades. Benoit, Gordon, O'Neill, Rivers has cleared Josh Terry for fourth. Terry runs fifth, and then it's Joe Warren in the sixth spot with car number 13. Checkered flag about to be unfurled. Here they come off turn number four. Cody Benoit gets the win in the first qualifier. Robert Gordon races to second, third. Keith O'Neill, fourth. Lonnie Rivers, fifth to Josh Terry, sixth. Joe Warren, seventh will be the 107 for Joe Garrow. Eighth will the be 11 is Lance Rabtoy. The sixth is Chad Provost. The 21 is Dave Rabtoy, and the 32 is Tim Baker. Eight cars running in qualifier number two. Here they come off turn number four. Green flag. Mark Karen showing the way with the number five. Josh Allen pushes up the racetrack. He gets a piece of the 60 of Roger LeBounty. And here comes the 11 and the 21 as the brothers Rabtoy move through on the inside. Lance trying to hustle to that third spot. Dave trying to move into the fifth position with the 21, and they both will advance. Out front, it's Mark Karen with a five car. That's a 61 of Senior Speed. The 11 of Lance Rabtoy, the 60 of Roger Labounty. Labounty on the outside, trying to get back in the hunt for that third position. Lance Rabtoy working on the inside, still has it. Dave Rabtoy runs right off of his brother's back bumper in the fifth spot. Mark Karen's lead is about two car lengths over Speedy Brissett. Karen running a middle line. Oh, Speedy bobbled in two, drifted up the racetrack. Oh, talk about drifting. There goes Roger Labounty. Off the back stretch through the bunker, and he will lose a whole bunch of spots before he finally rejoins at the back of the pack. Speedy Brissett bobbled in two, and that allowed Lance Rabtoy as well as Dave Rabtoy to move underneath. The five of Mark Karen showing the way. Lance Rabtoy trying to close in with the 11 car. Then it's a car link back to Dave Rabtoy, who's running third. Four car links back to Chad Provost in the number six, who was in the fourth spot. Speedy continues to run a higher line with a 61, and he's back to the fifth position as they're halfway in qualifier number two. Mark Karen in the five. Here comes Lance Raptoy, who's gone to the top of the racetrack. Picked up some momentum using the progressive banking on the top of the speedway. Here he comes into turn number four, trying to get to the door of the five, but here comes the 21 of Dave Raptoy to the inside. 
The Brothers Raptoy racing for the second spot, both eyeing the top position. That's where Mark Karen is right now in the five car. Lance Raptoy working the rim, Dave Raptoy working the inside. Dave Raptoy in the 21, trying to take the second position away from his brother. He's done that. Now he's trying to take the top spot away from Mark Karen, and he's done that at the stripe. Dave Raptoy has the lead with the number 21. Less than two laps remaining in qualifier number two for the Renegades. It's Dave Raptoy. Lance Raptoy has gone back down to the inside of the racetrack, trying to get to the second spot. Still at his door is Mark Karen in the five. White flag is out. One lap to go for Dave Raptoy. Oh, there goes Speedy spinning over at turn number four. Somebody just missed him. That was the 60 of Roger LeBounty. Speedy gets the car rolling again. Will stay under green. White flag is out. Final set of turns for Dave Raptoy. Dave Raptoy in the 21 races off the fourth turn. There's an opening for Lance on the inside. Drag race for the win. It's going to be Dave Raptoy on the outside. Lance Raptoy second, third to Chad Provost with the six, fourth to Mark Karen with the five, and it's Roger LeBounty in the 60. Josh Allen in car 10, and then the 61 for St. Franklin, the 69. Then it's the 25 for point leader Kevin Booten. The 27 is Rob Favreau. The 2 is Metal Man. And the 1 first time out for Plattsburgh is James Sayward. That's the field. Eight cars. Green flag. Out front, it is the 8 for Don Brissett. The 3 of Dave Drake runs second, but he's pushing up to the top of 2. And here comes Booten. Kevin Booten in the number 25 was, think back to 2009, running real strong at the end of the season, and he's running real strong again, and he is sitting atop the points, and he is to the second spot with the number 25 machine. Running in the second position, Kevin Booten. Battle for third, here comes Big Daddy in the 69. He'll take that Amerigas car into the third spot. Rob Favreau will take the O'Neill's Laundry 27 up to fourth as the three of Dave Drake fades back to the fifth spot. Out front, it's Don Brissett in the eight car. Running in the second position right on his back bumper is the 25 for Kevin Booten. Booten looks to the outside and two. Will go to the outside. Brissett pushes up the track, though. Booten's going to have to get on the binders a little bit, and that will allow uh, Brissett to maintain about a half-car length advantage. Now running into three and four again. Brissett will work the lower line. Booten wants to take it right up against the wall off turn number four as they drag race down to the stripe for the lead. The eight of Brissett had the lead by about four feet on the inside. Coming after him on the outside, here comes Booten. Booten's got momentum, working the top of the racetrack down the back stretch. He puts his nose into the front. Going into three and four, Kevin Booten continues to work on the outside. Don Brissett working down on the inside. Off four, Kevin Booten has the lead at the stripe as they're halfway. Booten leads with a 25. Brissett runs in the second spot. Third is Don Franklin. Fourth is Rob Favreau in the 27. Then a big gap back to Dave Drake in the three. And then it's about 10 car lengths back to the 16 of Neil Hansen, who runs in the sixth spot. Rob Favreau in the 27, looking to the outside of Don Franklin, 69, trying to get that spot. But Franklin is running about a car length in front of him as they close in on the eight of Don Brissett. Booten is checking out. His lead is growing. It's up to four car lengths down the back stretch. Brissett running well in that second position with the eight. The 69 of Franklin right off of his back bumper looks to the inside as Brissett runs high off turn number four with two laps to go for Kevin Booten. Booten has the quality cut sawing machine out front and running strong. The lead now up to about seven, make it eight car lengths down the back stretch. Brissett in the eight trying to hang on to the second spot. He's got his hands full. Franklin in the 69 looks inside. Favreau in the 27 looks outside. White flag out for Booten. Race for second. Give it to Don Franklin with a 69. He was able to move through on the inside. Now here comes Rob Favreau after him for the third spot. The eight of Don Brissett trying to hang third. Can't do it. Here comes the 27 of Favreau. He'll take the third spot away. Checkered flag's about to be unfurled. It's the 25 of Kevin Booten that wins. Second will be Franklin with a 69. Third to Rob Favreau. Fourth to Don Brissett. Finishing in the fifth spot will be the three for Dave Drake. Then it's the two for Metal Man and the one for James Sayward. So qualifying action in the book. Sponsor 29, that's Nick Haywood from Plattsburgh. Outside in the 18, it is Sean Duquette from Morrisonville. Final row, Plattsburgh's Buck O'Branham starts car number 20. And shotgun on the field, first time out for Brian McGinley with the number 35, Brian also from Plattsburgh. Green flag is out, first qualifier for the Janus Steel Sportsman cars. And out front, it's the 86 for Mike Shagnon. Three wide for second. Billy Twaits thought better of it. Good move, Billy. As he got on the binders, no need to go three wide in the qualifier. And at turn number three, that can be a recipe, well, for a lot of work back in the garage later. 
Bumping and banging for that second spot. Travis Bruno in the 33. Ben Huff in the 29. Well, now three wide right now. Twaits in the middle. Jamie Beagle on the inside trying to come through with a, 60, uh, with a 19 rather to get to that third spot. Out front, here comes Travis Bruno with a 33. He moves through. He's going to go to the lead. Jamie Beagle coming for the second spot. He'll grab second to the inside of the 86. Right on his back bumper, the 69 of Bill Twaits. He gives a tap to the 19. Twaits coming through on the inside. The 69 and the 19 have had a pretty uh, good ongoing rivalry the last couple of weeks. And Twaits just accentuated that rivalry with a little tap to the back of the 19 off turn number two. Side by side racing for the second spot. The 33 of Bruno leads. The 69 of Twaits running in the second spot. Bigor running well on the outside with a 19. Duking it out with him for second. Now trying to move up to the top spot. Three-car battle for the lead. Travis Bruno with a 33, Bill Twaits with a 69, and Jamie Begor with a 19 as that car's bobbled off turn number four. Begor had a good run off the fourth turn. He pulls up to the outside of Bruno. He drives around on the outside for the lead. Here comes Twaits to the inside going for the second spot. Running third, the 33 of Bruno appears to be off the pace of the three. Contact with the 20. Look out. They hit. Bruno gets a piece of the tire on the inside, and that's going to bring out a yellow flag as Ben Huff at the 29 also is spinning off of turn number four. First yellow flag of the night. Mohawk at Mohawk International Raceway. All right. Thanks a lot, Bill. Good to see you again, and good luck with that show Wednesday night. That's up at Mohawk. The World of Outlaw Late Models will be in town, and that's a big show coming Wednesday at Mohawk International. All right. Jamie Begor on the restart shows the way. Bill Twaits running in the second position. The 29 of Nick Haywood and the 18 of Sean. Oh, we got cars spinning near the back of the pack. The 86 of Mike Shagna, the 29 of Ben Huff. Four laps complete. Sportsman about to get back after it. Here they come off of turn number four, down the front stretch, green flag. Front row even into turn number one, even into turn number two. Off two down the back stretch, Jamie Begor has the nose in front. Here comes the 69 of Twaits trying to hang with him. Now he'll slide back, get back down to the inside, look to the inside off turn number four. But Begor works the line perfectly along the inside. He's got the lead. Twaits running in the second position. Really comfortable, it seems, with that number 69 down to the inside. Appears that he wants to run down on the inside. Maybe feels the car is a little bit faster down there. The 18 of Sean Duquette running third, but here comes the 29 of Nick Haywood. Haywood racing for third. They touch off the fourth turn, the 29 and the 18 rubbing on one another for that third spot. And Nick Haywood in the 29. Jim Bushy's right off of his back bumper of the 11. There goes Mike Shagnon spinning again with car number 86. He's parked over on the top of turn number two. Let's see if he can get that thing rolling. Move it, move it. Oh, darn. Yellow flag in this qualifier at the beginning. He's won five times. But Jamie Begor is the only driver still running that has one. Green flag. Six laps complete in the first qualifier for the JNS Steel Sportsman cars. And Jamie Begor in the 19, again, pulling away off two down the back stretch. Sean Duke trying to get to the inside of Bill Twaits. Trying to get there. Got there. Made contact. And there goes Billy Twaits around. Oh, heavy contact. The 69 got a piece of the 29 of Ben Huff. Ben Huff with damage on the left front of his car. He had no place to go. Let's see, as Billy Twaits comes around, he's got significant damage. On, let's see if it stays that way. All right, here they come, off of turn number four, green flag. Begor in the 19, Nick Haywood in the 29, trying to hang with him on the outside, goes right to the top of the racetrack. See that rear end bobble a little bit, didn't have a real good grip coming off the second turn, and Jamie was able to drive away. Haywood right onto his back bumper, though, almost got a piece of the back bumper going into the fourth turn. Leads a car link at the start-finish line. Jamie Begor leading Nick Haywood, running third, Brian McGinley. Battle for fourth between Jimmy Bushy in 11 and the 18 for Sean Duquette. Then it's the 86 for Mike Shagnon running at the back. Two laps to go for Jamie Begor. Sean Duquette looking to the outside. Jimmy Bushy on the inside at battle for fourth. There's some contact along the front stretch. Looked down, saw some smoke coming from those two cars along the front stretch. Here comes Duquette back after him on the inside. White flag is out. Good race for fourth. Sean Duquette on the inside gets that fourth spot back. Jamie Begor uh, pulling away from uh, Nick Haywood. His lead five car links. 
Now Jimmy Bushy goes back into the fourth spot as they swap that position back and forth. Checkered flag is out. The first qualifier is over. And Jamie Begor wins. Nick Haywood second. Brian McGinley third. Way to go, Brian. First time out. Jimmy Bushy is fourth. Fifth to Sean Duquette. Sixth Boy, to Mike. He is from Morrisville. Outside second place point man Robin Wood from Plattsburgh. And it is the eight car for Kenny St. Germain. He's from Osable Forks. And shotgun on the field is Brandon Atkins in the number 68. All right, 10 cars running. Second qualifier taking the green. And there goes Dan Sullivan with a three from the outside to the point. Down the back stretch, Rick Frenier looking inside. Tyler Terry looking outside as they try to race around the 56 of Casey St. Clair for the third spot. Robin Wood working on the inside with the number 61. He's running three wide for the fourth position. Tyler Terry has fourth right now with a 44. Robin Wood wants fourth, and he has it going into turn number three. They're dead even going into the fourth turn as they fight for the fourth spot. Give it to Robin Wood who is now eyeing third to the inside of Rick Frenier, 77. Out front, it's Danny Sullivan with a three. The 39 of Bill Sawyer runs in the second spot. Robin Wood coming through for third, and it's Rick Frenier in the 77 running in the fourth position. The Battle of Michigan stands in this qualifier as you've got the three, the McSweeney's car out front, and the Michigan's plus 77 running in fourth. The Red Hots running first and now fifth as the 77 drifts back to the fifth spot as Tyler Terry moves through on the inside to take fourth away. Sullivan leads. Sawyer is three car lengths off of his back bumper. Sullivan takes it right up against the wall off the fourth turn, maintaining that advantage along the front stretch. But closing in is Robin Wood. The Ganyanka bingo number 61. He takes the Renarec car into the third spot, and now he is just two car lengths off of Bill Sawyer's 39 and closing quickly. Behind Robin, it's Tyler Terry in the 44. Halfway in qualifier number two. Robin Wood is at the door of Bill Sawyer. Is there even for second in turn number two? Sawyer gets a good run on the top of the racetrack. Robin Wood is still there on the inside. Dan Sullivan shows the way out front. Robin Wood trying to come through on the inside to get that second spot. Bill Sawyer not going away without a fight, though. As they race along the front stretch, it's still Bill Sawyer by a foot for the second spot. Robin Wood in the 61. Still trying to move through on the inside. Bobbled over in turn number two. It looked like he was going to be able to take second away off two, but had a little bobble, and that allowed the 39 to hang on to second through much of the backstretch. Let's see this time off turn number four. A good line for Robin off the fourth turn. He's got second at the line. Robin Wood goes to the second spot. Bill Sawyer back to third. Fourth is Tyler Terry. Fifth is Rick Frenier. Sixth, Howard Stoner. Seventh, Nick Lagoy in the 96. Seventh, uh, make that eighth, rather, is Brandon Atkins in the 68. That it's Casey St. Clair and Kenny St. Germain. Two laps to go for Dan Sullivan. Can Sullivan hold off Robin Wood, who is closing quickly? It was four car links. It was three car links. It was two car links, and it's now one. Along the back stretch into the third turn. Robin Wood closing in on the back bumper. White flag is out this time for Dan Sullivan. He's got one to go. The lead is inside a car length. Wood looks to the inside over in turn number two. Sullivan a little bit loose off the second turn. Might have had some help in getting that condition. The 61 again trying to pull right back up on the back bumper. He'll look to the inside. It'll be a drag race for the checkered flag. Here they come along the front stretch. Dan Sullivan gets the win. Second to Robin Wood. Third, Bill Sawyer. Fourth to the 44 of Tyler Terry. Fifth to Rick Frenier. Sixth, Howard Stoner. Seventh, Nick Lagoy. Eighth, Brandon Atkins. Ninth, Barbara in the, in the number 11 car. The six is Chad Blair, and shotgun on the field is Brad Shova in the 4X. He's from North Bangor, New York. Yellow flag, yellow flag. All right, ready to run. Let's see if it works out better this time. Here they come, off turn number four, green flag. Minus the roof. The Ernie's Discount Tools Modifieds race off turn number two down the back stretch. Pierre Bertillon thinking three wide into turn number three. He's able to make it work. Backed out of it a little bit with that number one car. Out front, the 18 of Chris K.A. Right with him, though, the 55 of Matt Woodruff. Woodruff goes to the top of the racetrack. Off of turn number two, he'll take the lead away down the back stretch. Pierre Bertillon in the one, the 26, Todd Ormsby. Here comes Bertillon through on the inside. He's going to go to the fourth spot. Without the roof, teams trying to figure out the right setup for the racing action tonight. But 55 of Matt Woodruff is on the move out front. He's got a pretty good setup, at least for now, underneath him. 
as he is pulling away from second place runner Chris K in the 18. K.A. battling it out with Mike Rio for the second spot. Rio on the outside with the 0-2. Trying to get to the second spot around the outside of Chris K.A. Here comes Pierre Bertillon closing in on the battle as well. Out front, it's Matt Woodruff with a double nickel. Running in the second spot, it is now Mike Rio with, a C, with the 0-2. Back to third in the 18 is Chris K.A. Then it's the one of Bertillon on the outside. Here comes Bertillon working the top of the racetrack. He will put his nose out there for the third spot. And closing in quickly is Todd Ormsby in the number 26. So Chris K.A. sliding back with the number 18. Todd Ormsby went right to the top of the track. He's going to lose a spot to Greg Atkins. Trying to hustle and get into the top five to pick up handicap for the feature event. And Atkins has just moved into that fifth spot. An important pass for Greg Atkins to get around Todd Ormsby with the 26. Behind Ormsby, it's Michel Vienne in the 46. Then the 11 of Don Scarborough, who is not uh, moving as well as we've seen that 11 car earlier in the season. The 6 for Chad Blair, slow and headed back to the garage area. Chad had problems in the last practice session as well with that number 6. Actually, it was the middle practice session for the Modifies that he had uh, problems, and he is limping his way back to the garage. Out front, Matt Woodruff, two laps to go for the double nickel. His lead is almost half the front stretch over Mike Rio. Pierre Bertillon, third. He is pulled away from the one New York of Greg Atkins. Fifth is Todd Ormsby in the 26. Back to sixth, Chris K.A. with the 18. White flag is out for the 55 of Matt Woodruff. Woodruff is 13th in points, and he's on his way to picking up the win in qualifier number one. Final time for Woodruff off of turn number four. Here he comes along the front stretch. Checkered flag for Matt Woodruff. He wins. Second, Mike Riel. Third, Pierre Bertillon. Fourth, Greg Atkins. Fifth, Todd Ormsby. Sixth, Chris K.A. Seventh to Michel Vian. Eighth to Don Scarborough. Ninth, Brad Shova with the four. That is George Foley from Saranac Lake. And shotgun on the field starting ninth, driving the zero from Skyler Falls. It's Craig Ormsby. Nine machines running. Qualifier number two takes the green flag. Mike Wells from the outside of row number one trying to take the lead off the second turn. Down the backstretch, Dan Brown's right with him on the inside. They run wheel to wheel into the third turn. They stay that way going into turn number four. They stay that way along the front stretch. Mike Wells has the lead from the outside of the stripe. Wells will try to finish the pass. Dan Brown coming back after him on the inside. Vince Quinville runs right behind those two cars in third. Quinville looks down to the inside of Brown's car going to three and four. Wells the leader, Brown runs second, Quinville runs third. Running in the fourth spot, Patrick Dupree with the 24. Then it's Bryant Trim fifth. There goes the three for Andy Powell working the top of the racetrack. Powell's gonna lose a spot to George Foley. The B3 of Adam Barnaby racing against the three of Andy Powell as they run for the seventh spot. Out front, the 76 of Mike Wells. Then Dan Brown in the 40. Vince Quinville is 78 trying to get to the second spot. Again, cannot do it. Dan Brown is able to hold him off, using up some of that right rear as he was able to smoke the right rear, light it up off turn number two. He does the same thing off four, trying to hang on to second. Vance Quinville trying to get to the inside with a 78. Here he comes on the inside. Brown back after him on the outside. And down, Dan Brown still making it work from the outside, hanging on to that second spot. Mike Wells leads, but the battle is a good one for second as we're halfway in the second qualifier. Vince Quinville, the 78, Dan Brown in the 40. Brown continues to work hard on that right rear tire to hang on to the second position. Vince Quinville trying to hang on to third because Patrick Dupree's coming after him. Quinville would like to challenge Brown and get back to the inside for that second spot. Here comes George Foley trying to get to the top five. There goes Quinville for second. They run wheel to wheel into turn number four. Quinville's on the inside, Brown's on the outside. This time it's Vince Quinville at the line for second. Brown goes back to third. Here comes Patrick Dupree. He'll put him back to fourth just like that. Dupree goes to the third spot. Brown goes back to the fourth position with his 40 machine. Fifth is George Foley. Bryant Trim runs sixth. Two laps to go for Mike Wells. Mike Wells started on the outside of row number one. He's the 12th place point man in the standings, and he has a considerable lead over Vince Quinville in the 78. Quenville is 14th in points. White flag for Mike Wells. The top point man, Patrick Dupree, running in third. 
Here he comes for second. He'll fly through on the inside and grab the second spot away from Vince Quinville. Dupree goes to second. Checkered flag is out this time. It's Mike Wells with a win. Second, Patrick Dupree. Third, Vince Quinville. Fourth to Dan Brown. Fifth, George Foley. Sixth, Brian Trim. The Eaglefield Ford, Riley Ford, number four. Outside the Gamash Truck Center, number 90 for Martin Roy. And shotgun on the field, Jason Sawyer in the 24X tonight. Good to see Jason back in the modified. He's from Plattsburgh. Green flag out. Nine machines running. Qualifier number three, Mike Finney, the 26P, trying to take the lead. The 25 of Max Vienne works on the inside. Down to the stripe as they run wheel to wheel around the racetrack. It was Vienne in the lead by about two feet. Max and Vienne's on the inside. Mike Finney is on the outside as they continue to run wheel to wheel all around the big A. Sitting third is Pat McGrill with a 10. In the fourth spot, Jason Durgan with a 17. Craig Riel is running fifth with the CO2. You take off the roof and you can really see them, particularly through the turns, working the wheel, up on the wheel, trying to muscle these race cars around the track. Out front, it is Mike Finney with a 26P. Second, Max Vienne with a 25, and he is right there. He's got the lead through two, but look at Finney on the top of the racetrack. Take advantage of the progressing banking. Went back to the lead. Now Vienne comes back after him. It's a seesaw battle out front for the lead. Max Vienne's got the lead this time at the start-finish line. Lap three was led by the 26P. Lap four led by the 25. Vienne has the lead with the 25. Finney with the 26P running behind him now in the second spot as they're halfway in the third qualifier for the Ernie's Discount Tools Modified. Third in the number 10, it is Patrice Magrail. Fourth in the Key RD Trailer Sales 17, that's Jason Durgan. Craig Riel running fifth right now. Look at Martin Roy, he is mired in the seventh spot. He's not making any type of progress towards the front. Right now he's boxed behind Leon Gagno in the four and Riel in the CO2. He's got no place to go unless he works the third uh, line around the very top of the racetrack, which we've seen him do many times this season with success. Right now, that 90 is not up to speed, not the way we've seen it earlier in the year. Max Vienne's lead is up to seven car lengths over the 26P of Mike Finney. Then it's the 10 of Pat McGrail running third. Two laps to go for Max Vienne. But the good fight on the racetrack is for fifth. CO2, four, 90, they're all fighting for that fifth spot. Remember, you gotta get to the top five to pick up your handicap and start near the front of the field. Otherwise, you're coming out of the back of the pack, and that's where the 90 is headed. Because fourth, uh, fifth right now, rather, is Leon Gagno with the four. Let's see if Martin Watt can get to a handicapped spot. He's going to have to pass Leon Gagno to do it. Checkered flag is out. Max Vien, nice job. He gets the win. Mike Finney second. Third, Pat McGrill fourth. To Jason Durgan, fifth, Leon Gagno. She's at Bill Desitel, the 22, Chad Collins. Bill Joyle Sr., the 57. Josh Laporte in the 45B. Qualifier number one picks it up off turn four. Green flag is out. Good jump for Sign on the outside. He's going to lead him up the back stretch. Here comes Joyle on the move in the 58 on the inside. He's got the lead as they head into turn three. He's going to bring the superstar right with him. Myers moves into the number two spot. Coro moves up on the inside. He'll look to take third spot away. Your leader, Bill Joyle Sr. in the 58, but here comes the superstar on the inside trying to find a way through. Chad Collins moves up between cars. He's moved into the fifth spot, and Bill Joyle's 57 has now moved into the sixth spot on the inside. It's still Joyle Sr. in the 58 and the superstar in the 75, but here comes the charge of the 57. Billy Joyle moves the 57 into the number three spot as the Bombers are halfway. Mr. Cheez-It in that 36 is taken fourth. Coro's back to fifth. Not for long. Here comes Collins looking to the inside of the six car. Two to go this time by for Bill Joyle Sr. 
But Bill Joyle Jr. on the move on the inside of the Superstar. They race together up the back stretch. And now the 57 of Joyle will take that number two spot. And we've got father and son running one, two once again. White flag is out. Here comes the 57 on the inside for the lead. Billy Joyle, your new leader. Bill Joyle, senior, back to the number two spot. And it's Cody Myers in the number three spot. Checkered flag coming out this time. Your winner, Bill Joyle in the 57. The old man finishes second. Third spot goes to the 75 of the Superstar with Mr. Cheese at fourth. And fifth spot to the... Brissett on the inside, Jeanette outside. Off turn four, they start to pick it up. Green, flag is out. Good jump on the inside for John Michael Brissett. He's going to lead him up the back stretch. He'll bring the 23 of April Bordeaux right with him. Bordeaux takes second. Here comes Pelkey in the middle. Look out, there goes Pelkey. Pelkey spins the 88. Caution, flag is out. Keep in mind the readership of the Press Republican. Have you read Speak Out lately? Here we go. Back to the action. Enough of that Press Republican crap. Green fly is out. Three wide, four wide in a turn number two. Here comes the 72 of Jordan LeGrave flying up on the outside, kicking up the dirt, holding on to his spot. John Michael Brissetti is your leader. Scott Richner has moved into second. April Bordeaux is third. Here comes Richner on the inside of that 14 car. He's going to stick his nose in front and start to pull away as they head up the back stretch. Brissett tries to hang with him, but he's going to fall a couple of car lengths behind. Bordeaux runs third. Gadway is fourth. LeGrave fifth, followed by the 99 of David Arena. Arena looks to put a move on the 72 of LeGrave as they hit into turn three. They're going to be halfway this time by, and Scott Richner is your leader. For sale sign has popped up on the outside of the 21 car of the Bushies Auto Repair Machine this week. Richner has now built his lead to five car lengths on the Brissette 14. Two laps to go for Scott Richner. No one seems to be gaining on the top two cars as they've pulled away from the third place battle between Bordeaux's 23 and the 63 of Gadway. And it's another gap back to the grave in the 72. White flag. Up the back stretch the final time. Scott Richner is home free. Big lead coming off three in a turn four. Checkered flag in the air. Your winner is Scott Richner. Second place goes to John Michael Brissett in the 14. Third spot at the line to April Bordeaux. Timmy Gadway fourth. And Jordan LeGray will finish fifth in the 72. Qualifier number one, mini modifieds. They start to pick it up off turn four. Green flag is out. Terry Bishaw will lead him into turn one as they're quickly stacking up three wide behind him. Here comes Varno on the move. He's going to take second on the outside. Jim Varno moves into the number two spot as the mini modifieds are still three wide coming off turn four. It's Terry Bishaw, a long-time campaigner here at the Airborne Speedway, holding on, but for how long? Varno on the outside moves right alongside. Can Bishaw come back on the inside? They'll be together as they come off turn four. Who's got the power down the front stretch? It's the Varno 11. 
Varno, your new leader. Second spot, that's going to be Collins on the outside, but here comes Justin Donner and Chris Clark. Two of the faster cars in the division start to close in on the top two. Clark outside, battles Collins for the number two spot. Donner keeps the one in the bottom of the racetrack. Halfway. Collins on the inside now sticks his nose in front. Clark coming right with him. Varno stuck on the far outside. Justin Donner right there on the bottom. With a one lap, Varno's going to go from first to fourth as Jimmy Collins, Chris Clark, and the one of Justin Donner go right on by. They continue their battle for the number one spot. Now it's Donner on the inside with Collins in the middle and Clark on the far outside. Great battle going on up front for the top spot. Now Justin Donner has got it. One to go. Donor is your leader. Collins second. Clark is third. Fourth goes to Varno. But he's about to be challenged by the 0-8 of the Brown Turd. Seymour's going up as well in the 357. Checkered flag is out. Your winner, Justin Donor in the one. Jimmy Collins second, Chris Clark third, the Brown turd fourth. And at the line, the 11 of Jimmy Varno manages to hold up. Shotgun and Archer. Pick it up as they come off turn four. They are down to the green. Josh LeClaire thinking about a three wide move, but the 23 drifts up in front of him. And he'll think about a middle move up the back stretch. Is there enough room? No. Nice job by LeClaire to hold on as well as Archer, who got a bit of a tap coming down the back stretch. Shotgun leads the way. Archer second. Fuster is on the inside. He's going to get passed by the 20 of Jamie LaFountain. Fuster comes back right in the middle. They're three wide once again as they come off turn four. Rick Doner trying to find a way by on the bottom of the racetrack. He's moved into the number six spot. Jamie LaFountain is your new leader, and he is driving away. LaFountain, like he was shot out of a cannon, has left this field behind. Halfway, a speedy brissette moves into the number two spot. Here comes the 95. Donor takes third. Seymour back to fourth. Leclerc is fifth. Sixth is the 26 of Brusso. Fuster is seventh. And Jenkins eighth. Two to go. It's been all Jamie LaFountain since lap number three. He has driven away from this field and extended his advantage. The battle now for the number two spot. Donor on the inside. Brissette on the outside. White flag out. Good battles going on in the middle of the pack, but up front, Jamie LaFountain is stinking this one up. He is winning it for fun. Donor well behind in the number two spot. He would have to sprout wings to try to run down LaFountain. It's not going to happen. Jamie LaFountain, your winner. Donor finishes second, third spot to Speedy Brissett, fourth to the seven of Josh LeClaire and Matt Brusso rounds out the top five in the 26. This should be a good one. Point lead on the line. It's just two. Kevin Booten, two-point lead over the seven of Lonnie Rivers and 12 points over the, the 11 of Lance Raptoy. Here they come, 25 laps the distance. Green flags out. And right off the bat, they're three wide into turn number one. The one of Cody Benoit was able to find room to the inside of the six of Chad Provost. Now he finds room to the inside of the three of Dave Drake. They're four wide into the third turn. Going with them is Kevin Putin on the inside. Putin's trying to follow the one through on the inside towards the front of the pack. Chad Provost in the six, trying to get his car down in front of the 25. He's able to do it. Benoit moving now to the inside of Joe Warren's number 13. Out front, it's Mark Karen the five. Josh Terry, the 43, runs second. Side by side for third. Here comes the zero. Keith O'Neill coming through on the inside. He's trying to get that second spot. 
Some of the top point guys running right inside the top 10. Benoit continues to charge to the front. Benoit is on the move. He started about 13th. Oh, look out. We got cars mixing up in three and four. Franklin in the 69 drifted up the racetrack. Lance Raptoy off the pace with car number 11. Yellow flag is out. Three point races remain for the Renegades. All right, here they come through turn four. Down the front stretch, racing again in the Renegades. Three laps complete. Mark Karen trying to hang on to the lead. There goes Josh Terry by the outside. There goes Lonnie Rivers. There goes Chad Provo spinning to the infield. The six goes spinning down to the infield. That's going to bring out a yellow flag. And this will all go for naught. Lonnie Rivers had taken the flag. All right, ready to run again. Here come the Renegades. Off turn number four. Green flag. Again, Josh Terry trying to take the lead off turn number two. Lonnie Rivers trying to go with him. A three wide. There goes Benoit again. Down to the inside. Into turn number three. Making a three wide move. Trying to get fourth away. He will. Trying to get third away from Lonnie Rivers. Maybe going for the lead along the front stretch. The lead is Josh Terry's at the stripe. Second is Mark Karen. Battle for third between the one and the seven. Karen drifts up the track. Here comes the one looking inside down the back stretch. Cody Benoit trying to take that second spot away from Mark Karen. Karen works the middle line, drifts up the track at a four. Here comes Benoit in the one. He's got second. He's eyeing the lead on the inside. Lonnie Rivers in the seven car trying to get down in front of the zero of Keith O'Neill. He will for fourth. Keep an eye on the one. He's got room to the inside of Josh Terry. Terry likes that higher line around the track. He'd better take away the low line because the one's about to take it from him. Here comes Cody Benoit off turn number four. At the stripe, the 43 had the lead by a foot. But Benoit plowing through on the inside. He's flying in the one car. He's got the lead off two, and he's starting to pull away down the back stretch. Cody Benoit looking for his third win of the season. Has the lead into turn number four. Off the fourth turn down the front stretch. He'll finish the pass. Cody Benoit leads. Josh Terry runs second. Lonnie Rivers runs third. Rivers looking now to the inside of Terry for the second spot. Right behind Lonnie Rivers, it's the zero of Keith O'Neill running fourth. Robert Gordon on the move. He's up to the fifth spot with the H2O. Mark Karen sixth. Seventh is Don Franklin. Eighth, Joe Warren. Ninth, Roger Labonte. Dave Raptoy runs tenth. Eleventh is Rob Favreau running twelfth is Lance Raptoy. Lance Raptoy trying to get back to the top ten. Third place point man. Kevin Booten just outside the top ten. Make that just outside the top 12. Lance Raptoy is 12th. 13th is Booten in the number 25. Out front, Cody Benoit leading the seven of Lonnie Rivers by five car lengths. The zero of Keith O'Neill going to the second spot. Here comes Robert Gordon looking to the inside of O'Neill's car for third. Three cars battling for the third spot. O'Neill in the zero has it for now, but Robert Gordon's moving. Another car that often comes to life late in the season. Robert Gordon has been charging in the point standings, and he's charging towards the front. Here comes the H2O well drilling car going for third. At the stripe, he's got it. Keith O'Neill goes back to fourth. Fifth is Josh Terry. Sixth is Don Franklin with a 69. Seventh is Dave Raptoy. Eighth, Joe Warren. Ninth, the 60 of Roger Labonte. Lance Raptoy trying to get to the top 10 as they're racing three wide behind him. The 27, the 6, the 25 running three wide. They're racing for the 12th spot behind Mark Karen, who's 11th. 12th is now the 25 of Booten. But running in the second spot is car number seven for Lonnie Rivers. Rivers stands to really have a good pickup in the points. You finish second, you get 50 points. 11th nets you 28. That's a 22-point differential. So Lonnie Rivers right now would really stand to pick up. He could have potentially a 20-point lead going into next week. 10 laps to go next time by. For Cody Benoit, who works over in turn number two. He continues to pull away from Lonnie Rivers. We've got a car up near the wall in turn number four. The 60, the 25 of Boot. 
14 laps complete for the versatile trailer sales renegade. Slow pace set by Benoit in the one. Here he comes off for green flag. He takes Lonnie Rivers right up by the wall along the front stretch. Rivers trying to hang with him over in turn number two. Drifts up the track in two. Lonnie Rivers just off his back bumper. Rivers in line, running into turns three and four, trying to get to the back bumper of Cody Benoit. Can't quite get there. Benoit a little sideways off four, but pulling away. Ten laps to go for Cody Benoit. Lonnie Rivers running second. Robert Gordon is third. Keith O'Neill fourth. Dave Raptoy into the top five. He's fifth. Josh Terry back to the sixth spot. Don Franklin running in the seventh position. He's side by side, running door to door with a 13 of Joe Warren. They race side by side for seventh. Lance Raptoy coming through in the 11 car. Lance is up to the eighth spot. Kevin Booten trying to move with him. Keep an eye on some of those cars that are running mid-pack. Those are guys near the top of the point standings, and they are trying to fly to salvage a better finish as lap 17 goes up on the board. They've got eight laps to work with, but they don't want to lose sight of Lonnie Rivers in the point race. Rivers is a car length off the back bumper of Cody Benoit, and he's hanging right with him, closing in on the back bumper in turns three and four. Benoit really muscled that race car in the early laps of the race. As car number seven better managed his car, will he be able to have something for him in the closing laps? The lead's a car length, almost one and a half along the back stretch. Chad Provost trying to get to the inside of the 11 of Lance Raptoy. Raptoy looking to the outside of the 69 of Don Franklin. Franklin working a middle line around the racetrack. Chad Provost with car number six trying to move on the inside. Lance Raptoy in the 11 goes on the outside as they run three wide to the third turn. Raptoy gets to the turn in time. Let's see if he can get the car down in front of the six of Chad Provost. He will. Kevin Booten trying to come through with a 25. Five laps to go. Inside five laps for Cody Benoit in the one. The seven of Lonnie Rivers running in that second spot, now falling back almost two car lengths behind the leader. Benoit leads, Rivers second, third, Robert Gordon fourth, Dave Raptoy fifth, Keith O'Neill sixth, Josh Terry. Seventh is Lance Raptoy. Battle on for eighth, and it's a good one. Kevin Booten in the 25. Chad Provost in car number six, racing for the eighth spot. Those two cars got together earlier in the race. Car spinning in the middle of the back stretch. It's the 10. Finish, of everybody. 22 laps complete. Benoit, Rivers, here they come. Off turn number four. Green flag. Robert Gordon looks to the inside of the seven car down the back stretch off turn number two. Battle for second. Rivers gets the right side tires off the back stretch. He's sliding back to third. Dave Raptoy trying to put him back another spot. Out front it's Cody Benoit. Two laps to go for Benoit who's pulling away. Robert Gordon in the second position. Dave Raptoy trying to get inside Lonnie Rivers for that third spot over at turn number two. We got a spin. Rob Favreau goes around with a 27. Yellow flag comes out. Yellow flag out for the 27 of Rob Fab. Pull the same move that Gordon was able to make happen on the last restart, get back to that second spot. All right, this should be good. Here they come, off of turn number four, on the hammer, down the front stretch, green flag! Benoit gains some separation from the second place cars. Rivers is trying to get that second spot away from Robert Gordon. Gordon with a good run on the top of the racetrack. Trying to pull with him the 21 of Dave Raptoy on the outside. Gordon's back to second. Raptoy moving on the outside. White flag is out. One lap to go for Cody Benoit. Benoit leading by a car length and a half. They're side by side for third. Keith O'Neill, the zero, runs right off the back bumper of the seven car. That's the good battle in a racetrack car around over at turn number one. That's the end of Don Brissett. He gets it rolling. We stay under green. Here they come through three and four. Checkered flag is out. Cody Benoit wins third time this season. Gordon second, Rivers third, Raptoy fourth, fifth O'Neill, sixth to Kevin Booth in seventh, Josh Terry in car number 43.
Rob is on his way down to victory lane in just a moment. He'll be chatting with the winning driver, Cody Benoit, in car number one. All right, Rick, third win of the season for Cody Benoit, climbing out of his car. Give him a nice round of applause, everybody. Cody wins for the third time. And, uh, Cody, I was watching you when the green flag dropped. Come on over here so everybody can see you. I was watching you when the green flag dropped, and you were three wide going into turn number one right at the drop of the green flag. You wanted to go early in the race. Uh, the spot was there. I mean, I ain't, I ain't making spots anymore. I'll just take them as they give them to me. Uh, I want to thank everybody who uh, helped me on this car, especially Kale. If it wasn't for Kale, I wouldn't be out here. Uh, I want to thank Liquor and Wine Warehouse, WRS Investments, uh, my means, my pops. I want to dedicate this win to my brother because he got hurt last night. Cody, it looked like the car was really hooked wherever you wanted it to go. Talk about in the closing laps, you had a lot of restarts there that you had to deal with. What were you thinking on the restarts? Uh, the car actually freed up after the first caution. Once I got a good run going, uh, car freed up, so we got to tighten it up. Other than that, I just want to thank all the fans for coming out. Congratulations on win number three. You got to be having pretty a lot of fun with this race car. Yeah. All right, congratulations, Cody Benoit. He gets his third win. A good job by Robert Gordon, who finishes second. With Kenny St. Germain in the eight. 25 laps the distance for the JNS Steel Sportsman cars. Here they come. Off turn four. Green flag. From the outside, row number one, Bill Sawyer tries to take the lead off the second turn, and he will. Three wide down the back stretch, racing for about the seventh spot. On the inside, Jamie Begor in the middle, Mike Shagnon with the 86. They mix it up. Begor comes through on the inside. Rick Frenny is on the outside of the 77. Up against the wall, Robin Wood in the 61, trying to find a line through on the inside as well. Out front, it's Bill Sawyer with the 39. Nick Haywood trying to get around the three of Dan Sullivan. Jimmy Bushy got a little tap off turn number two. He bobbled. Down the 18 of Sean Duquette goes around. The 11 of Jim Bushy, he's going to the fourth spot. Right behind them, it's Jamie Begor in the 19, running in the sixth position. Nick Haywood in the 29, goes around Dan Sullivan. He'll take second. Dan Sullivan running in third. Sean Duquette is fourth. Jamie Begor trying to get around Jimmy Bushy for that fifth position. Begor goes to the fifth spot on the outside. Back to six, it's Bushy in car number 11. Out front, Bill Sawyer carrying the mail as his lead is about eight car lengths already. Nick Haywood in the 29, running in the second spot. Third, Sean Duquette with the 18. Three cars, oh, there goes Brian McGinley sliding over at turn number two. Backs it down to the infield. Let's see if he can get that car rolling again. Still rolling backwards. Can he get it refired? Yellow flag. 16th is Brandon Atkins, 17th Casey St. Clair, 18th is Kenny St. Germain, and 19th is Brian McGinley. That's the field, here they come. Through turn four, down the front stretch, green flag. Even into one, boy, it's a good restart for Nick Haywood. He's got momentum built up over in two as he goes to the top of the racetrack, trying to hang with Bill Sawyer who works the inside. Look out, we got a car spinning through the infield. That's the 86 of Mike Shagnon. Gets it turned around, head in the right direction. The yellow flag for Bill this season. A car has uh, not always behaved the way he has wanted it to, particularly down on the inside of the track, but boy, he was hooked off too. All right, here they come, off four, on the hammer, green flag. Haywood on the outside in the 29, leading off two down the back stretch. They're even going into three. Haywood puts the nose out in front into three. Sawyer coming back on the inside. Right behind him is Sean Duquette in that third spot. Sawyer hanging on to the lead. Nick Haywood is second, Sean Duquette third, Jamie Begor fourth, fifth Dan Sullivan on the outside. Running sixth is Robin Wood in the 61. Side by side running third, Billy Twait to the 69, and the 11 of Jimmy Bushy. Here comes Bill Sawyer with the 39. His lead is a car length and a half over the 29 of Nick Haywood. Again, oh, there's a bobble over in turn number two. Sawyer was strong off of four as Jamie Begor makes a move for third to the inside of Sean Duquette. Yellow flag is out as we've got two cars on the racetrack. Ready to run again. Sawyer in the 39, Haywood in the 29. Haywood starting to pull away on the outside. Sawyer back with him now, green flag. Oh, 
over in turn number two. Here comes Sawyer again. That's a, a deja vu from the previous restart. Nick Haywood really had a good restart on the outside. Sawyer was able to pull away along the back stretch. Let's see what happens off four. Nick Haywood's right with him along the front stretch. It's still Sawyer by about a half car length. Nick Haywood not going away, though. He's still there on the outside. So is Jamie Begor. Begor trying to get around Sean Duquette, who bobbled over in turn number two. He goes to third. Here comes Duquette back on the inside. Sawyer drifts up a little bit, a little bit rather, going into turn number four. Sean Duquette's right on his back bumper. Here comes the 29 back after him. Robin Wood is in the hunt as well. He's running in the fifth spot. Bill Sawyer, the 39. Nick Haywood, the 29. Is there room in the middle? Here comes Begor. Begor gets around Duquette. Gets down to the inside. Duquette back hard on the inside. Jamie Begor in the 19, right on the back bumper now, the 39, as they race for that second spot. Three car. Oh, they touch over at turn number one. Sawyer drifted up the track. Got a piece of the 29 of Haywood. Haywood went to the top of the racetrack. Great save by Nick Haywood. Jamie Begor right there in the 19. Begor looks down low. Right on his back bumper, the 18 of Sean Duquette. A race off turn number four. Bill Sawyer leading. Jamie Begor second at the stripe by a foot. Third, it's Nick Haywood on the outside. Haywood coming back after that second spot. Jamie Begor bobbles on the inside off two. Haywood's back to second on the outside. Begor closing on the back bumper. Fourth is Sean Duquette. He's got a good battle in the, uh, right behind the cars that are battling for the second position, Begor and Haywood. Out front, Bill Sawyer. Nick Haywood slowly closing in on the outside. Jamie Begor still there on the inside. We've got cars spinning again over at turn number two. Near the back of the pack, it's another yellow flag. Repairs to that car, but he rejoins at the back of the pack. All right, ready to run again. Here they come off for green flag. Another good restart for Nick Haywood on the outside. He's got the lead headed towards turn number two. But here comes Sawyer back on the inside. Running three wide towards the back of the pack. That could be a dangerous combination. Haywood's got the lead over at turn number three. The 39 of Sawyer trying to fight back on the inside. Sawyer with a bobble off four. Down to the start finish line. Nick Haywood's got the lead of the line by two feet. John Duquette's gone to third on the outside. Bill Sawyer loose with the 39. Jamie Begor trying to close back in. Begor right now is in the fourth spot. Duquette's at uh, his door on the outside running third. Battle for the lead this time by Bill Sawyer's gonna lead the lap. Sawyer gets the lead back. Second to 29 of Haywood. Third at the stripe, it looked like Begor with a 19. Duquette back to the fourth position. It looks like they're ready to take the green flag again, running door to door in the top six positions. Sawyer and Haywood. Here they come along the front stretch. This time it's Sawyer again by about a foot. Almost touching over at turn number one. They drift up the track. Begor trying to get to the inside. Can't quite get there down the back stretch. Going to turn number three. Not there. Sawyer and Haywood continue to do battle. Continue to run door to door around the racetrack. Down to the stripe this time. That, it's the uh, 39 again. Sawyer leading by about three feet. Haywood right with them on the outside. Again, they drift up the track. Again, Begor tries to get the nose underneath. Three wide. No, backed out of it going into turn number three. Almost even going to the fourth turn. The 39 of Sawyer was loose into turn number four. Haywood's going to get the lead back. You can see the 39 bobble coming into turn number four. That gave Nick Haywood a chance to get the lead back on the outside, and he does. Haywood's the leader. Sawyer second. Third, Duquette. Begor running in the fourth spot. Right behind them, Bill Twaits and Robin Wood are battling it out for position. This time it's Bill Sawyer back to the lead with a 39. They drift up the track, touching in turn number one. Begor coming back to the third spot, looking inside off turn number two. It's the 39 leading, the 29 right with them. Down the back stretch into turn number three, even going into the fourth turn. Off turn number four, down the front stretch. Bill Sawyer staying in the lead. Nick Haywood working the outside of the track. Jamie Begor trying to get the nose underneath off two. Couldn't do it. Rear end kicked out a little bit. That gives a little momentum to the 18 of Sean Duquette on the outside. Side by side racing for the top six positions. Lap 18 goes up on the board. Almost dead even at the stripe. That time scoring had Nick Haywood in the lead. Jamie Begor thinking three wide down the back stretch. Begor trying to get there to three. They touch go to the third turn. Sawyer tries to save it. Here comes Robin Wood. Car spinning over to turn four. They pile up. Yellow flag. Cars. 
two drivers in the front row looking for their first victory this year. It's a slow pace as they go into turn number four. Here they come off the fourth turn. Down to the stripe. Green flag. Sean Duquette works the outside with the 18 car. Trying to head to lead. Nick Haywood pushes up the racetrack. Here comes Robin Wood looking inside. Wood looks to the inside, down the back stretch into turn number three. Trying to get to the inside of Nick Haywood's 29 car. Sean Duquette leads out front as they battle for the second spot off four. Down to the stripe. Robin Wood is second. Nick Haywood back to third. Falling back, the two cars battling in that second spot. Now Robin Wood clears Nick Haywood. He's three car lengths behind Sean Duquette with six laps to work with. Actually about five and a quarter as they race off turn number four. Down the front, oh look out, we got cars spinning. Kenny St. Germain spins, gets a piece of Jamie Begor, and yellow flag. Feeding off the bottom of the racetrack, picking them off one by one. Now he's got to go to the top. All right, should be good. Here they come, off turn number four, green flag. Even to one. Duquette right down along the inside of the racetrack. Robin Wood puts the nose out there for the lead, off turn number two. Down the back stretch, Robin Wood has the lead going to three. Sean Duquette trying to fight back on the inside. Here they come off of turn number four. Robin Wood takes it right up against the wall. He's the new leader. Robin Wood in the lead. It was about four feet at the stripe. Now he gets a good run off two. Duquette bobbled in two, so the 61 drives away off the second turn. Bill Sawyer in the 39, limping back towards the pits. Four cars, Yellow, like I said earlier looking for their first career victory. And there's Duquette on the outside of row number one, trying to get his first of the season. All right, here they come, off of turn number four again. Green flag. Robin Wood on the bottom of the racetrack, now drifting up off two. Sean Duquette takes the lead back on the outside. Even into turn number three, we got another yellow flag. The 35 and the 86 getting together. Four laps remain. When that last yellow came out, Sean Duquette had nosed out in front on the outside on the restart. Let's see if he can try to do that again. He starts to pull away. Now Robin Wood punches it on the inside. Here they come. Green flag. <laughs> 33, Travis Bruno getting around the 56 of Casey St. Clair. Now the 61 of Robin Wood leading out front. The 18 of Sean Duquette. Trying to look outside. Does he want to get back down to the inside? Oh, look out. We got cars spinning again. Turn four. Yellow flag. All right. On the gas again. Here they come. Green flag. Tyler Terry really driving a high line and a one, working the top of the racetrack. Boy, he picked up a real a bunch of momentum coming off of two. Closed right up on the back bumper of Nick Haywood in the 29. The 69 of Bill Twaits off the pace. He drifts up the racetrack. Look out, everybody trying to miss him down the back stretch. Going into three and four, and that's going to bring out a yellow flag. Rick, would you like to venture a guess how long this race has taken so far? 48 minutes. Green flag. Bill Sawyer and Jimmy Bushy almost getting together over in turn number two, racing for position. White flag is out, white flag. Robin Wood leading, Sean Duquette second, Nick Haywood third, Brandon Atkins fourth. Here they come for the final time off turn number four. Checkered flag is out. Robin Wood wins for the fifth time. Sean Duquette second. Nick Haywood third. Brandon Atkins fourth. Fifth, it looked like Bill Sawyer. Sixth, either.
Rob's on his way down to Victory Lane. In just a few moments, he'll be chatting with Robin Wood. Number 61, Robin Wood climbing out of his car. Give Robin a nice round of applause as he gets his uh, fifth win of the season. Again, he'll go back on top of the points. And <laughs> Robin, do you have any words to explain what we just witnessed? Uh, horrible. <laughs> I mean, that was that was a really bad race. I mean, we usually try better than that, but uh, it's usually the same guys that bring out the cautions every week and. Uh, luckily, I was able to make it through. I know a lot of guys weren't, but uh, that was pretty much the key part of the race for us. Well, I think the, certainly you were able to find a line down to the inside. Jamie Begor was going three wide for the lead. Looked like he had room on the inside, and then there was contact over in turn number three, and you missed it. Tell me what you saw. Yeah, I think uh, Wild Bill drifted off. He, he takes a wide entry going in the corner. I think Jamie stuck his nose in there, and uh, Wild Bill closed the door, and Jamie lifted for him, but uh, it was too late for that. We were all so bunched up that it just caused a big wreck. And then, of course, you had to deal with a bunch of restarts down the stretch. But again, this car really seemed to hook down on the inside. And that's where you were most of the time. Yeah, I think I, the car ran the best on the bottom tonight. I think I took the lead from Sean on the outside. But uh, the, the car was kind of uh, boggy on the restarts. But uh, other than that, the car was pretty good. I got to thank my sponsors, of course, Renarek, uh, Melissa's Barbershop, Gnanka Territory, Bingo's. Um, Daniel Signs, and I got to thank my crew, uh, Dad, Rudy, Erica, of course, Nikki, Tyler, and uh, I got to dedicate this to my grandmother who passed away earlier this week, and this one's for her. All right, congratulations, Robin. Win number five. Thank you. Okay, Robin Wood, everybody, he gets his shotgun on the field, the zero for Craig Ormsby. Ernie's Discount Tools Modifieds, ready to run. Here they come, off of turn number four along the front stretch, green flag. Adam Barnaby headed towards the infield as it boxed up, coming to take the green flag at turn four. Barnaby's the only guy that really gets shuffled in the wrong direction. As they race through three and four, leading lap number one, Max Vian in the 25. Dan Brown coming back after him on the inside. Remember, $250 bonus. If you win and your name is not Martin Roy, provided he is not running at the end of the feature event. And Martin Watt was not nearly as fast in his qualifier as we've seen him earlier this year. Again, without the roof, you can really see these guys wrestle their race cars around the track. Up on the wheel, trying to hustle to the front. And Martin Watt is working the rim. He's right off the back of the 24 of Patrick Dupree. Out front, Max Vian leads. The 40 runs in a second spot. Martin Watt is going to lose a spot going to the top of the racetrack. Now picks up a lot of momentum down the back stretch as he tries to get around Chris Kaye. Out front, VN leads. Dan Brown is second. Matt Woodruff runs third. Fourth, it is Mike Vinny. Fifth, Mike Wells. Sixth, Todd Orsby. Seventh is Mike Riel. Eighth, Jason Durgan. Ninth is Pierre Bertillon. Tenth, the battle on between Matt, uh, Pat McGrail, rather, in the 10, and the one New York of Greg Atkins as they race for the 10th spot. Twelfth is Vince Quinville. Thirteenth, George Foley. 14th is Leon Gagno, 15th is Pat Dupree, 16th is Martin Roy as they mix it up off turn number two. Roy had to get on the binders. They played bumper tag right in front of him. Vince Quinville losing a spot to George Foley. Chief starter Weasel Bruno with a clutch black flag in hand had it pointed that time at Foley who used the front bumper to hustle the 78 out of the way. Out front, Max Vienne is pulling away. Seven laps complete. The Ant's lead is five over the 40 of Dan Brown. Then the 55 of Woodruff running in that third spot. Fourth, Finney in the 26P. Here comes Mike Wells after that fourth spot. Oh, we got cars spinning over in turn two. Reach, oh, Chad Blair, plowed by Craig Orsby in the zero. Of the season. You could go right on back through the top 12. All right, here they come. Off of turn number four, green flag.
Dan Brown trying to get after it on the outside. Here comes Brown, the 40. Brown puts the wheel out in front. Max Vienne comes back on the inside. Seesaw battle for the lead down a front stretch to the stripe. It's Max Vienne by two feet. Max Vienne hanging on the lead. Dan Brown still going after it on the outside as they really mix it up in the middle of the field. Pat McGrail in the 10. Jason Durgan, they got together. McGrail ended up in the infield out back as he races into turn number three. George Foley is off the pace. Foley is slow in turn four. The Foley 34 is off the pace and that's gonna bring out a yellow flag. All right, ready to run. Nine laps complete on our way to 30. Off turn number four, green flag. Oh, that could have been a major mess. The 40 started to come down on the 25, got a piece of them. And that is very lucky. Dan Brown could have been sent flying up into turn number one. He's taken the lead away from Max Vienne after he got a piece of him along the front stretch going into turn one. Brown leads. Max Vienne runs second. Third is Todd Orsby. Running fourth, Matt Woodruff. Pierre Bertillon trying to charge on the outside with a one. He is fifth. Sixth is Mike Riel in the 0-2. Bertillon going to fourth around the outside of Matt Woodruff. Mike Wells running in the seventh spot. Eight is Jason Durgan. Ninth is Mike Finney. They're side by side racing right in front of Pat Dupree. He's snookered. He's got no place to go. Same can be said for Martin Noir. They are side by side in front of Martin Noir. He's got no place to go. And here comes Todd Ornsby. Ornsby has moved around Max Vienne and now is looking underneath the 40 of Dan Brown. On his way to the front, Todd Ornsby is the leader. Ornsby is checking out on Dan Brown, and Max Vienne, since that contact with Dan Brown, Max Vienne is sliding backwards. He is not nearly up to the same speed that he had earlier. Right now is fourth, and Matt Woodruff's reeling him in. Good racing in the middle of the pack. Martin Wye has moved to the outside. He's trying to make tracks as Patrick Dupree is now four cars in front of him. Dupree is sizing up Jason Durgan to the inside. The pistol, Patrick Dupree goes into the seventh spot. Now looking over Mike Rio. Dupree in the 24, seventh on the track. Martin Watt trying to get to the top 10 to the inside of Mike Wells. Just past the halfway point. Let's set the field. Todd Orsby in a different zip code right now. He's checking out. Dan Brown second. Third is Pierre Bertillon. Fourth, Max Vienne. Fifth, Matt Woodruff. Sixth is Patrick Dupree. Seventh, Mike Rio. Eighth, Jason Durgan. Ninth is the one New York of Greg Atkins. Tenth is Pat McGrail. Eleventh is Martin Roy. It looks like someone's going to pick up that $250 bonus. Provided that 90's running at the end of the feature event. Patrick Pre looking to find running room. Tried to split the difference between the 25 and the 55. There was no room. No room at the end. This time he looks again along the front stretch, but again he can't get through. As the 25 and 55 race four positions, they're racing for fourth. Now on the inside, look at Dupree go. Patrick Dupree down to the inside of Max Viet, trying to get to the inside of the 55 of Matt Woodruff with 10 laps to go for Todd Ornsby. Todd Ornsby leads by the back stretch over Dan Brown. Pierre Bertillon third, trying to chase him down now, is the 24 of Patrick Dupree. Todd Ornsby used to race here a lot back in the dirt days. He never won. He's got a big lead out front. Here, Bertillon to the inside of Dan Brown for the second position. Bertillon's going to second. He had a good finish a couple of weeks back, and he's running in the second spot. Guy out front, it was looking for his first career victory. Running up on the back of the pack. 
Five laps to go, next time by for the 26. He leads, second is Bertillon, third is Brown, fourth is Dupree, fifth is Woodrum, sixth is Max Vied, seventh is Jason Durgan. Eighth, Greg Atkins, ninth, Martin Roy, tenth, Mike Rio, eleventh, Leon Gagno, twelfth, Pat McGrail, thirteenth, Vince Quinville, fourteenth, Don Scarborough, fifteenth, Chris Kaye, sixteenth, Mike Wells, seventeenth is Brian Trim, eighteenth is Michel Vienne, nineteenth, Craig Riel, twentieth is Jason Sawyer, twenty-first is Adam Barnaby, twenty-second is Andy Powell. Twenty-two cars on the lead lap as the leader is coming off of turn number four. Lap 27 goes up on the board. Popsicle sticks are out next time by for Todd Ormsby in the number 26. He does not want to have a yellow flag. That might bring Dupree in the mix, but Dupree cannot chase down Pierre Bertillon. Coming up on Andy Powell, the three. White flag is out for Todd Ormsby. Ormsby can tiptoe around these race cars if he wants to. His lead is that big. He doesn't have to press it. He can just follow the three if he wanted to. He's going to go to the outside of the racetrack. Here he comes off of turn number four. Checkered flag is out. Todd Ormsby wins. Second, Bertillon. Third, Dupree. Oh, look out, car hitting the tire. That's Greg Atkins. Craig Riel has spun. Fourth was the 40 of Dan Brown. Fifth was the double nickel for Matt Woodruff. But Greg Atkins clobbered one of those tires over in turns three and four as the checkered flag flies first. for Todd Ormsby in the 26. He was faster than everybody in the hot lap session. He was turning times in the 16.4 bracket. He was the only race car in the hot laps to turn times down there. And he was able to back it up in the feature. Work to the front. He's climbing out. First career victory. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. This is Todd Ormsby. Thanks, Zig. Congratulations. You were here in victory lane in the third place position. You told me it was your best career finish. When did you know that you had something really underneath you tonight? Uh, about the time the green flag dropped. Well, I don't know if you saw the times in the last practice session. Your car was the fastest then, 16-4, the only car in that range. So uh, we had a pretty good idea that yours was a car to watch tonight. Uh, it was definitely fast. Uh, uh, handling was good. Um, everything just came together, you know. And then you worked your way. You started towards the front. You worked your way methodically around cars until you were in that front position. And then you were just blowing away everybody. You had a lead of about the full backstretch. Uh, I had actually let up and just tried to hold my groove and not do anything wrong. And so, so you had a good idea that the lead was that big? I had no idea. <laughs> no, I had no <laughs> But you still let up anyways, even the and that's right, you're going to get the $250 bonus from Mike Parati. So you, you get the bounty for beating Martin Wah. Well, look, anytime somebody wins a first career victory, it's really a cool thing. Congratulations, Todd Ormsby. You did it tonight. Thank you. All right, that's Todd Ormsby, everybody. Here they come, ready for a start. For a set on the inside, and Bordeaux on the outside. 
They'll start to pick it up as they come off turn four. Down to the green. Brissette will take the lead into turn two and lead him up the back stretch. We got a car drifting up high. That was the 72 of the gray, but he was able to get it back down onto the racetrack. Door opens up on the inside, and here comes Joyle Sr. Bill Joyle Sr. is the leader. Brissette trying to come right back on the bottom. Side by side at the stripe. The 72 spins around in turn two. He's got it refired. Will stay green. Bill Joyle Sr., the commander up front. Mr. Cheese it moving up on the outside of the 14. He's going to look to take that second spot. Bill, don't call me Joe Desitel on the outside of John Michael Brissett to take second. Desitel back to third. April Bordeaux is fourth, but here comes Scott Richner on the inside. And Richner will battle the 23 car. We've got 21, 22, and 23 running all together. Where's Wade Whitney? We need to throw him into that group. Three wide action in front of Billy Joyle in the 57 car. He's going to try to follow Scott Richner through, who is taking that number four spot. Bill Joyle Sr. is your leader. He's got Mr. Cheese it all over the back bumper, looking for a way through. Three wide action up the back stretch. Here comes Joyle to take a look inside of Richner as they battle for the fourth spot. Twenty-three car spins at the top of turns three and four, trying to get it refired. Caution. Yellow flag is out on lap number five. Good start on the inside for Joyle, but here comes Desitel just flying up on the outside. He's going to have a lead at the stripe. Richner gets into the 58, and he goes around. Holds up the 57 and the 63 as well. Up front, Bill Desitel. Mr. Cheese it. Has a two car length advantage over the 21 of Scott Richner. John Michael Brissett trying to hold on to that third spot, but here comes Josh Duravage on the move in the 88. Duravage will look to the inside as they come off four. Duravage at third at the stripe. One of the cars that got snookered was that 57 of Billy Joyle. He's trying to work his way back toward the front. He is running out of time. They're going to complete lap eight this time by. Bill Desitel, Scott Richner, Josh Duravas, Chad Collins, John Michael Brissett, fifth. The superstar is sixth. And looking to the inside of Brissett. There'll be five to go next time by. Richner continues to close in on Desitel. For Richner, it would be career win number two. Desitel looking for his first. Five to go. The 45 able to get to the infield. That allows us to stay green. They complete lap number 11. Joyle has worked his way into the number six spot. Next on his hit list will be the 75 of Cody Myers. And he'll look to the inside as they go into turn three and just drive right on by. Myers tries to fight back on the outside, but it's going to be Joyle to have the fifth spot at the line.
Popsicle sticks are out. There'll be two to go next time by, and Desitel has opened up a little bit more of an advantage on the 21 car. After Richter had closed in, Desitel says not tonight. Two to go, and it's a three-car length advantage for Mr. Cheez-It. Gonna have to work their way around the slower car. Number 60 heads to the top of the racetrack, gets out of harm's way, one to go. Duravash has moved his 88 into the number three spot. Collins is back to fourth. Picking up the dirt on the back stretch with Desitel. It allows Richter to close in just a bit. Checkered flag coming out. Your winner, Mr. Cheez-It. Bill Desitel, Scott Richter gets second. Third spot goes to the 88 of Duravash. Fourth we will go to the 22 of Chad Collins. And Bill Joyle rounds out your top five in car number 57. Bill Desitel, Rob, take it All away. All right, Rick, thanks. Bill Desitel, first career victory as he wins tonight in the Bomber Division. He's out of his car. Give a nice round of applause, everybody. That's his first win. All right, come on over, Bill Desitel. Congratulations on your first career victory right over here so that we can see you on camera as well. Congratulations on getting that win. Now, on the last lap, you kind of drove off the back stretch a little bit. Did you think, oh, no, I just let it slip away? Oh, the handling was going bad. I was just trying to hold Richner off. I thought for sure he was going to get me. Well, your car seemed to be pretty good. You could tell early on when you made your way quickly to the front, and then you were able to hold off a fast guy like Scott Richter. That has to make you feel pretty darn good to get the first win. Oh, yeah, especially as good as he's been running. Well, congratulations, and here's hoping you get several more in your racing career. Nice job. I'd like to thank A1 Oil. I'd like to thank Nancy... Levine, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have the car at all. I'd like to thank Speedy Brissett. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't even be handling like it does. And I want to thank everyone that's ever helped me with it. Thank you. Congratulations, Bill Desitel. Nice job on getting the victory. That's a sharp-looking uh, car, that number two at the back. Here they come off turn four. Green flag is out. Good jump on the inside for the shotgun, but he's going to get circled as the field heads up the backstretch. Seymour Jr. on the outside grabs the lead. Collins moves up. He's going to move through on the inside, take second. Or there, almost five wide coming off that corner. Chad, or Jimmy Collins, rather, is your new leader up the backstretch. Kurt Seymour Jr. back to the number two spot. Matt Brusso and the Leclerc 7 battle for that third spot. Look out, we've got cars spinning up third. We've got a car up in the air. That's the Jenkins 33. Now he gets knocked down as if they're playing roller derby back there. 